Welcome back to another video of Carolina ADC Reviews and today as you see the title of the video we're looking at a frame for the P365 which is my daily carry and these guys are from uh, if I pronounce this correctly <laughs> Washugo, Washington it's a small business that has been around for a little bit now working with the automotive and uh, weapons department with different, um, you know, military government contracts and stuff like that. So just a little background of them. Again, they are a small company out of Washugo, Washington. And again, they work with small contracts, government contracts, police and all that good stuff. Now, the cool thing about these um, frames here, uh, they are made aluminum, as you can see here. Very nice, well machined aluminum parts. Uh, this game's weather, which is pretty neat. Here's the name of the company. And again, I'm gonna butcher the name, but I think it's pronounced Icarus Precision. Uh, pretty cool little, uh, I don't know, short logo, I guess you can say. But the name of the frame of this one is gonna be the the Ace 365 Hybrid. Uh, they do offer this for the P320 as well. Uh, that's the only two models they offer for in a sick line. They also uh, offer for, um, the 365 and the XL as well. Uh, check the website. Of course, YouTube will not let me uh, link any um, firearms or anything like that. Uh, links on the description, but I will try to put it on the pinned comment down below. Uh, so ACE 365 Hybrid. So what that stands for is the Accuracy Control Enhancement uh, pretty much uh, frame for the 365 as you can see here. Again, it's aluminum. Uh, it's made out of strictly billet 7075 T6 aluminum, just like pretty much any other firearms. They are made out of aluminum. That's the uh, aluminum to go to. Very strong and everything, accurate. Uh, these are going to run uh, $209.99. Yes, they are going to be pricey because it's aluminum machine and uh, going to make it uh, a lot more stronger than it was before. But again, um, 70, 75, 36 aluminum. Now you can get this in different colors um, as well, but it's gonna cost you $25 extra. Look at the website, they do offer in tungsten, midnight bronze, flat dark air, and so on. So check the website again. Um, very solid frame here again. Uh, it does have a little bit of weight to it, being as aluminum. Um, and you know, polymer is a lot lighter than aluminum. Uh, you know, P365 NT, from the SIG website is gonna weigh 17.8 ounces. Uh, with this frame here, uh, just standard P365 empty, is gonna weigh one pound, 4.8 ounces. So three to four, maybe five ounces more uh, to it. Now the cool thing about these frames here, they are already out in the wild, um, especially in the government department and police. Uh, I spoke with the uh, representative of three, um, uh, <laughs> I can't think of it. A curious precision. Sorry about that, guys. But um, they say that these frames are already out there. They are in uh, several police departments. Uh, one of them will be here in North Carolina. They told me that the High Point Police Department have transitioned and approved the carry of these frames here for duty on their P320 and their backup 365. So any departments out there, if you're watching this, uh, you might, if you carry the 365 or P320 firearms on duty, or even security guards, uh, maybe something you wanna take a look at it to give it a little more uh, sturdy firearm. Uh, again, it's very nice, well machined. But we'll take a look at here in a second. Um, again, you can get this for duty 320 and 365. And um, again, there'll be a lot more of these friends, uh, more out in the wild with the government and police department as well. So I think that's pretty much all I have to say. They do offer some rifle parts, they say, uh, for $40 and under. I'm not really sure what parts do they offer, but check the website uh, for so I want to know. So I haven't taken out and fired it at all. Um, Here's the old frame. Uh, it's pretty, pretty much similar as far as everything goes. Um, it does have a little bit extended uh, beaver tail here, as you can see. Um, but pretty much everything is going to be the same as far as the grip, the trigger guard. Everything is going to be the same. Uh, but the cool thing about this is you have a Picatinny rail here. 
which you're not going to need a special attachment like this one had on my standard train to come from you have to buy a special attachment to attach my light my old light so cool thing about this i can still attach my old light on here lock it down so you can see it looks just nice check out the logo here i tell you this is well done machining here you got the ace <laughs> logo here as well some narrowing right there right here and on the front here but the feel of it, it feels a lot sturdy as you can see the back of the beaver tail sticks out a little farther so that prevents you from slide bites and all that good stuff but other than that it does feel solid now it is a little bit more heavier of course uh but for sure a lot more sturdy and well made so uh the only issue that i had was um taking <laughs> and putting the uh, mac release on there um, it is a pain in the butt. If you haven't take one out, you understand what I'm saying. But that's the only hard part, really, that you have when you, you know, switching everything out. And uh, of course, you know, the control just drop right in, and you have to pin or hit to drive to push it back in. But other than that, I haven't had any any problem racking or seating the magazines. Everything goes right in. As you can see it's flush, just perfectly, just like your normal frame. And again, having the luminal, it does feel a lot solid. But anyways, enough talking. Uh, let's go outside, step out, take a few. All right, guys. As you see in the beginning of the video, all the specs and everything of the uh, P365 polymer here, the hybrid from Acaris. Hopefully, again, I'm pronouncing this correctly. Uh, sorry to them if I pronounce it correctly. But uh, anyways, again, aluminum frame. Y'all seen all the specs and all about. I have been carrying this for at least three weeks now since I got it. Uh, this shoots some rounds through it just to make sure it functions and the reason why because this is my daily carry now it does add a little bit of weight as I mentioned but the finish and everything feels solid as usual like I said uh, but other than that everything seems to be functional just fine as it used to uh, but we'll talk about it about here at the end let give you my opinion so uh, still casing 9 millimeter. that's all I can find near me so uh, don't hate me for sure and still case but that's all i can uh, find right now and can afford so uh let's uh run two max through it just make sure it functions correctly again and then i give my opinion on what i think all right here we go Everything seems to be running fine as far as the action. There's no hiccups, no malfunctions. So far, everything seems to be working fine. All right, here we go. All right, function is right. All right, again, this is the aluminum frame for your P365, and they do make it for the P320. All right, let's step back to my vehicle, give my final opinion, so stay tuned. All right, guys, let me take my ears off so I'm be yelling at y'all. But other than that, as far as the frame goes from Acaris, Icarus, Isaris, however you want to pronounce it, uh, I really enjoy the aluminum frame. Uh, it does feel a lot solid than your polymer frame. Uh, definitely have to worry about, uh, you know, this ever going, getting damaged, crack broke or anything. Uh, being aluminum and uh, finishing everything seems to be excellent, in my opinion. I haven't had no issues. I've been carrying it for at least three weeks now, like I said. I have shot a few rounds through just to make sure it functions but other than that everything seems to be working just fine the finish is great again check out the website for different colored options they have i think they have three other more options black raw finish and fde if i'm not mistaken this is the gray here uh, i can't remember what they call it but just matches just fine with the slide here ah uh, all right pros well uh it does feel solid it's aluminum it's gonna last you forever. Uh, don't have to worry about cracking, breaking, or anything. Uh, again, uh, it's gonna be much solid. Everything as far as the magazine goes, uh, everything is going in fine. And again, being a small gun for me, it takes a little time to reach that button. But the cool thing about this, it has the little uh, thumb cut out here, so you can have a good place to raise your thumb and everything else. And again, with the P365, you can reverse the button, as you know. All right. That's pretty much it about the pros. Again, it's metal. Uh, it's gonna last you forever. The finish is great. The uh, machining is excellent as well. 
uh, as far as the texture is uh, nice and not as aggressive as I want it to be like other guns like I like but it does the job well as you see um, cons well the only con is the reverse button is a pain to ask to exchange it around and everything uh, as you know like I said it does add a little bit of weight but at the end it's gonna last you forever uh, and pretty much it so uh, in my opinion I like it I definitely gonna do the same for my p320 uh, make it more solid weapon uh, a lot of people don't like polymer frames so that's be a great option like I mentioned before the beginning of the video a, lot, a few departments police department here especially one high, high point if I'm mistaken uh, like I said uh, it has transition to the palm, uh, aluminum frames for the uh, carry weapons and backup weapons which is 365 as well um, guys that's pretty much it that's all I have a uh, quick little video about this product here as you can see uh, it's great looks great and in my opinion if you're looking for something um, this could be the investment they put in if you want to have something uh, very durable as far as polymer goes on your frame or your weapon all right guys that's pretty much it uh, i want to thank to akaris uh, kakaris uh, for sending the frame for review i really like it enjoying it i'm gonna keep this configuration as usual just like every firearm it's gonna evolve in the long run later on in time it's gonna you know i'll be upgrading things from here but i'll keep you updated on that but so far i like it i enjoy it and i think it's a great option to have again if you rather have a aluminum frame which a lot of the 365 or i mean six brands are offering the aluminum frame as well on their x-series uh if i'm mistaken no legion i'm oh, sorry the legions are carrying the aluminum frame which uh they look pretty sick and they and also you have to worry about the hump right here which uh, i don't really like on the uh you know original frame which it's not much but anyways that's pretty much it guys again thank you for watching uh make sure to check all the links down below i will not be able to put the link in the description but i'll not uh pin it in the comments below so you can check these guys out again thank you those guys for sending the frame i really like it and i suggest to get one of those if you're looking for something solid all right that's pretty much it Follow me, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for all the followers uh, and all the new subscribers. I use you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.